works just fine for me. Um, and then zinc, I buy the zinc uh, gluconate, really cheap stuff. Uh, I actually, we actually found out on this forum that zinc picolinate doesn't seem to work very well for some people. So we're recommending against zinc picolinate just based on the feedback we've gotten. But I can't confirm that for sure because I've never actually used it with this formula. Um, so again, I don't have a particular brand I'm married to on any of those, so long as they are that ingredient. Uh, EGCG, again, I stick to the life extension to recommend, though I actually use a much stronger form of it because I do such higher doses. I found a stronger form on Amazon. I can't honestly remember the name because it's some German name, but that one works for me. But I know I've taken life extension before with this, and since I know I've tried that and it works, I, I usually go with that one because it's a lower dosage per capsule, and so I just don't want to scare people. Um, and then, uh, let's see. I think that's it. Yep. Molybdenum, zinc, AGCG, biotin, B5. Again, B5, I just need panthenic acid. It doesn't matter the brand. Yeah. Vitamin C, it, very, very important not to have rutin in it because rutin is a chelator, and I know certain brands do put in the bioflavonoids in the rutin, and I just think that does a little too much uh, of the copper chelation element that you don't necessarily want without the EGCG portion driving the process so your issue with it is just you feel it's in, uncontrollable like it's well i think vitamin c won't or shouldn't shouldn't chelate copper out first until iron's removed but if it includes copper chelators like rutin it'll remove that copper anyway even if you do have iron blocking the process is what i've found you and know that, something uh, i've taken okay. So, something I've taken very high doses of for a long time as well, citrus bioflavonoids. I always felt that they helped my digestion. So I guess, again, it's copper chelating without Maybe. even trying. I don't know if the bioflavonoids are nearly as strong as that rutin. I'm very particular on the rutin because it really screwed my body up. But N-acetylcysteine is another one that I used to take it. I don't recommend because it chelated too much copper out without the iron balancing aspect of that. Um uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other chelators I've taken. Alpha lipoic acid. What I've noticed about alpha lipoic acid is it really it 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 seems to not surface like copper that's over overwhelmed by iron. So that iron copper balance, if your iron's higher, alpha lipoic acid doesn't seem to aggravate that as much. Whereas if you're like this and your copper's really high, alpha lipoic acid will really kind of stimulate all that copper that's not blocked by that iron, that bioavailable free copper, it'll really aggravate and stimulate it and cause a huge drainage of your B vitamins uh, uh, when you try to take it. So I, I tend to avoid alpha lipoic acid and just stick with straight C. Uh, 